Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to efficiently trade in Morrowind and get yourself some nice pennies. First I'm going to cover your uh, relationship with the person, so you can guarantee you're going to be getting the best prices, minus your mercantile skill. Then I'm going to explain the mercantile a bit, and then I'm just going to go around and show you some of the best places you can buy. Now this is Ravia in Balmora. Yay, dinosaurs. This guy's only got 600 gold, but he buys Skooma, so you've got to love him. Okay, now the first thing I want to cover is this position here. Okay, now you, you can increase this, you can do it through bribery and stuff like that, but you can also do it by buying or selling any item. So a quick trick to increase this is you take, so I'm going to sell some of these to him, value one. Just sell him, one. 63. 64. So you can increase it to 100 that way. Now I'm just going to boost him up, I'll be back soon. Okay, so now I've got that full, I'm going to show you about the mercantile skill. 800. Okay, what have we got in here? Progress towards skill increase 90 out of 100. Okay, well, that's a good example, we're good to go. Now to increase your mercantile, all you need to do is haggle. So this is best if you have uh, buying or selling, whichever way. Just sell, again, one at a time. Do a coin? Okay, he's offered me 29 for that. All you need to do is offer 30. Hi. Thank you. Oh, it's just gone up a level. That was nice. So there you go, you can just do that to increase your mercantile skill. That one's easy enough. Okay, now a bit of advice on fatigue. I'll just show you, my fatigue's full here at the moment. Let's take, uh, what's that? Value 1000. There you go, so he's offered me 615 for it. Watch this. I'll just waste my fatigue. Okay, we're empty now. 527. Okay, now this guy in Vivek has quite a bit of gold if you need to offload something quick. It's directly opposite the Mage's Guild, which is handy. You just use that for the fast travel. I think he's got two grand, is it? Well, two and a half grand. Right, now an interesting merchant here in Caldera. I've just come from the Mage's Guild. Is in Gorak Manor, which I think is this one. It's the massive one. Yep, this is the one. Move! I should go upstairs and ignore all the uh, half naked orcs for some reason. Hello there! It's a creeping creeper! Look at that, five grand. Right, now the last guy I want to show you, the um, easiest way to get there is if you get a silt strider to Saran here. Okay, and then you just want to follow the river down. And it's quite a trap away. Pass that little door there. And here. Straight forward. There he is. Ten grand this crab's got. Now there's a little trick for you as well, because you're going to find a lot of items are actually worth more than 10,000. Um, if you sell off all your cheaper items first, and if he runs out of money, just press T to rest. Just rest for 24 hours until he gets his money back. So you sell off all your cheaper, cheaper items first, and then sell your expensive items to him, and take your cheaper items back as change. 